Today on Ben's Wild Adventure, I'm going to be talking about the largest animal that has ever lived, the blue whale. The blue whale is bigger than even the biggest dinosaur that ever lived. The largest one ever recorded was 120 feet long, as long as a jumbo jet, was 20 feet tall from top to bottom, as tall as a giraffe, and weighed 230 tons. And believe it or not, that's as heavy as the Statue of Liberty in New York City. Like most baleen whales, they need to eat about 4% of their body weight in food every day, so a 230 ton blue whale eats 9.2 tons of food a day. They also eat 3 million calories a day. That's like a human eating 10,000 hamburgers. And like most whale species, their mouths are about 20% of their body length, so a 120 foot blue whale has a mouth 24 feet long. Here we are at the Seacoast Science Center. Now, although no blue whales ever come this close to shore, they are, like I said, they are still far out at sea. And one amazing thing I forgot to mention about the blue whale is that the blue whale's tongue is so massive, 50 people could stand on it. <laughs> Blue whales would tend to live far out at sea, way out there in the Atlantic Ocean. They, are, they do live in the North Atlantic, and they even live in the South Atlantic too. They'll sometimes swim from the North Pole to the South Pole and back. They go, usually spend their time in cold water in the summer, and then in the winter they migrate to warm water to give birth. Most whales do that actually. Blue whales tend to eat small shrimp-like creatures called krill and zooplankton, but amazingly, they don't eat fish. Not all baleen whales eat fish. <coughs> and like most whales, they're social animals. They live in pods. And on whether or not the male or female is the leader of the pod, I think depends on the size of the sex. In tooth whales, the males are bigger than females, so I would imagine the leader of a pod of tooth whales would be the alpha male, but in baleen whales it's the opposite. The females are bigger than the males, so in a pod of baleen whales, like the blue whale, I would imagine the leader of the pod would probably be the alpha female. Most modern day baleen whale species, and in prehistoric baleen whale species, scientists have estimated that there is about one ton per foot. However, in a blue whale, being 120 feet long, it weighs 230 tons, so that's almost two tons per foot. These are the job, these are the bones of a fin whale, the second largest animal ever. They're from an adult male who was about 60 feet long. And these are the jaw bones, and as you can see, they're really big. They're like twice as tall as I am. And one, there's one amazing thing. Once in Europe, in medieval times, some people found the jawbone of a whale. It was so extraordinary, they thought it was the rib of a dragon called Smock. They also found the femur of either an elephant or a mammoth with it, and the skull of a woolly rhino. They all thought they were dragon bones, but they're not. These look like ribs, but they're actually jaw bones. This is part of the skull. Over here are some of the back vertebrae. Those are the ribs. Those are the shoulder bones where the flippers attach. And over here, this is where the tail fluke would be. You know, even though the blue whale is far bigger than Argentinosaurus, Argentinosaurus's back vertebrae can be far bigger than a blue whale's. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Ben's Wild Adventure.